let us have one wonderful true story this story has motivated me a lot from my article ship days till now i have given it a very simple name persist learn persist learn persist learn persist and this persistence is very very important in your life it basically means having an opinion and sticking your neck out on that particular view or particular opinion this trait right t r a i t this trait in your personality if you can develop you will not feel a need for external sources of advice public motivation too many times in your life this is a true story very few people know this person not any kind of a celebrity but for me he worked like a celebrity krishna kumar r k krishna kumar he is called as a kk in the corporate world he was a managing director of tata t at that point of time 1990s today it is called the tata consumer products this company and what krishna kumar did or what this entire team at the tata t did at that point of time put india onto the global map for the first time this is about acquisition of tetley by tata t Tetley at that point of time back in 90s was the world's second largest packaged tea brand english kappa that is called as unilever through its various uh, products was at number 1 and this tetley was at number 2 and they had they were the pioneers of this instant tea that's what when i said ye chai ke upar main tumko story bolunga that was tata tea green tea so back in 1990s uh, krishna kumar rk krishna kumar who was managing director he wanted to take a tata tea to the next level from a typical indian company to the global giant in consumer business but that was an era when india had a license raj india had a huge restrictions on uh, foreign borrowings or external funds coming to india fema was not enacted so biggest uh, problem that indian entities were facing was uh, funds foreign exchange management act came in year 1999 atal bihari vajpayee had to be prime minister for that so india was uh, facing this acute problem of foreign currency fund so before any indian company could dream of going to the global level and try to do any kind of an acquisition fund raising was a big problem but this krishna kumar fellow as is known in the corporate world he was very very clear that we want to go and launch or we want to have some global brand we want to become a global brand so in this direction tata t brand tata t was introduced somewhere in 1990s along with one more brand that brand is maine unke naam likh ke rakha hai sab kuch whatever i had recollected at that particular point of time maine uske brand ka naam likha tha hamare zamane bahut chala tha ye brand kanan vanan yes kanan devan kanan devan to main jo bhi aata hu beta pad ke aata hu so kanan devan and tata t were the two brands that or uh, tata t or krishna kumar's leadership they launched and there was one more person darbari set who was a chairman of tata t so they said first let us start their acquisition their aim was we want to become a global giant and we want to become something in consumer products so they launched these two brands which over the subsequent few months or few years itself they took 15% market share in the packaged tea market in india and looking at that they went ahead uh, to the uk and uh, at that point of time tetley was controlled by a company called the lions tetley it is a part of uh, one group at that point of time 
these companies have their names have changed allied allied tetley karke company tha and that company was owning this tetley brand and somehow the tatas convinced them that we should come across and uh, do some kind of a joint venture or something the aim of krishna kumar was very much clear he had a vision he had a dream that somehow i want to become a global brand but you can't go to a global brand directly and you can't uh, ask them will you sell your company to us nothing like that you have to wait for that opportunity but he started that fielding in 1990s so somehow that lion stately or the allied stately group they agreed for some kind of a joint venture where they started procuring some raw tea leaves or something from a indian entity so tata tea and tetli ka kuch trade relationship establish hua investment ke liye saath mein nahi aaya and thereafter they set up a joint venture in kochi to manufacture tea bags whatever you require for packaging raw tea bags small business operation that started and later on there is one uh, giant at that point of time which was uh, into the alcoholic industry pedro domnic okay. i might i might be wrong in uh, pronunciation so this pedro domnic wanted to take over an entity and they took over this allied there was a joint it was a merger between allied tetley and pedro domnic to form a new entity which was a global giant at that point of time now diagio has taken over that company went into liquor market that company that they formed was allied domnic un dono ka uh, joint venture form karke 1994 mein somewhere that joint venture was formed and now imagine a liquor company trying to sell a tea also doesn't go well kyun which one are you going to promote tea or liquor it becomes very conflicting so somehow that merged entity decided to get rid of tea business this was somewhere 94 95 panch saal tak krishna kumar ne pura fielding laga ke rakha tha tetli se pure rishte bana ke rakha tha tetli ke ceo management team unke sath supply chain kochi mein plant bana ke rakha tha sab kuch kiya tha proper relationship and he was waiting for that moment where tetli is on sale pedro domnic said we want to get rid of tea business we want to focus only on liquor the entire management of uh, ratan tata had just taken over as a chairman of the tata sons at that point of time so they gave a go ahead they went ahead uh, nurji suna wala karke ek bahut badhiya finance mein banda tha unke paas us time pe uh, tata sons ke andar that team harish bhat karke ek banda tha all of them junior people went out to london for the purpose of taking over they could try variety of ways they, they did a due diligence and everything of a tetley but somehow the problem i have told you till that point of time this kind of takeover had not happened at that point of time takeover amount was roughly around 200 million pounds so roughly around 370 million uh, dollars at that point of time today that sum is very nominal peanut sum for a tcs or a tata group it is peanut but i am talking for a period where tcs was also not a listed entity tcs got listed somewhere 2003-4 so tata group or no indian entity had even dreamt of doing this kind of an acquisition and here was a company which was trying to acquire and krishna kumar was trying to dream about because he had made a effort for three, four years they tried all of these things and somewhere there was one uh, venture capital fund led by leon allen this leon allen was an uk fund for them it was very easy to raise the funds they started competing with the bids that were raised by tata t you have to bid for the tetley's assets you have to take over the business and you are bidding they started bidding 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 and somehow the bid was lost by tata t bid went to whom that leon allen was a venture capital uh, was backed by was an entrepreneur himself but he was backed by venture capitalist there are a lot of entities which are backed by venture capitalists like in india camps that you saw computer age management services was backed by a, a venture capitalists and those vcs at some point of time they earn the return and then get get off the company krishna kumar came back is heartened and all with that he could not complete the acquisition normally any person will give up ratan tata and kk both of them did not give up because their aim was to take an indian because th- 
Tetley was a first acquisition ever in India's history for a global giant of that particular size. Till that point of time, no Indian company had raised such a huge funds and done such a huge buyout. Amount at that point of time was just approximately 3,000 crore rupees terms. Mein baat karu they continued. This was 94-95. See, the vision Ratan Tata said, no, at some point of time, these venture capitalists would get off the business because venture capitalist is not interested in doing a business. He's interested just getting his return on investment. He's a financial investor. He's not a hardcore management investor or he's interested in day-to-day -day business. They don't love the businesses. They married for some year, get divorced, married to someone else. That's how their style is. Let's continue our efforts in maintaining our good relationship with what? Tetley. So they helped uh, Tetley to introduce their brand in India. So uh, it, they came up, then they came up the Wataj brand. Yes, you know, uh, Ustad, uh, I Jakir Hussain itself. Uh, so Jaki, they came up with a wonderful advertisement of Jakir Hussain. Uske liye jo sara tea tha ya sara packaging se they were given by Tetley. Wa Taj karke brand. And the Taj, uh, the market share of the Taj started expanding. So they, they started giving them the, uh, even the global presence because Jakir Hussain was a good famous personality plus Taj and all of that. They kept on doing effort starting uh, with the Tetley. 1999, see how the life is a full circle. The person who was working with that venture capitalist firm at that point of time and who was uh, competing with the Tata T in 1994 had left that venture capitalist firm. He had joined a consulting firm, Arthur and Anderson. And he called uh, KK. Just one afternoon he was sitting in his office and he got a call. Are you interested in buying Tetley? Turn off all phone call. This person is not expecting that call. He is thought that Tetley is gone from his mind. Somewhere in 99, the call comes up. Do you want to buy Tetley? From whom? From the person who was competing with you and who had left that particular entity and joined SWAT and Arthur Anderson who went on to become a bankrupt actor in Enron fraud. And luckily, at that point of time, India had adopted a new law about Foreign Exchange Management Act allowing Indian companies to get a foreign capital also relatively easier as compared to the erstwhile regulation of Foreign Exchange Regulation Act. India had to launch a FEMA because we had done the Pokhran test in Atal Bihari Vajpayee's leadership at that time and Bill Clinton had put up a lot of sanctions on India. So India could have delayed the process. The FEMA when it was introduced in the initial phases was not the way uh, of Manmohan Singh and the Narasimha Rao or the International Monetary Fund had planned. But it was, we had to set up a lot of changes, but we were forced. Because, like today, Russia ke upar sanctions lagaye. Chalo, utne to sanctions nahi lagaye tha humare upar. But, at least good deal of sanctions were announced by America. Because America ko humne bataye bigger humne wo test kiye tha. America ko samjha nahi tha. Wo tumne, John Ibrahim ka koi to movie tha. Okay, but dramatize karne ke koshish ki thi, but that was how the India did the Pokhran tests. So India had introduced the law. See how the things life is a full circle. You wanted a brand, you went for it for about from 1990s, 1994, you went one step close to it. You were in London and somehow in the final stages, Alan, uh, uh, Leon Allen fund texts you over and the someone from that gives you a call from Arthur Anderson. He rings out Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata immediately convinced a board meeting of Tata Sons to, so that because you need a funds for this. And now, now they had understood. They had learned from their mistakes. Last time they had gone out there without any understanding or without any planning as to how to raise the funds. So now the people had got a huge experience. They learned from their mistake. They were firm. That's why my name of the story. Persist, learn, persist. Learn, persist. They are firm on their opinion that we want to go global. We want to uh, have that brand because then and then only Indian entities will be recognized globally. The brand Tata or the Indian companies will have recognition. They got the approval from the Tata, Tata Sons board of directors because the amount was huge. By this point of time, bid amount had gone to about 250, 270 million dollars uh, pounds. They got a clear permission, went to UK, had the multiple negotiations. Still, there were some competitors. Bid amount was increased. 
it was beyond the reach of Tata Sons. Amount had gone to about 432 million. It was beyond reach. Again, learn, persist. Tata Sons or the KK on behalf of Tata's goes to an, a bank which has never done any kind of great business in India. Rabobank, it's primarily has a huge exposure to Africa and the other part. He went to Rabobank, found out the vice president of Rabobank, whose name also he had told me at there. Uh, this entire story was told to us, fortunately, by Krishna Kumar himself. So I have notings from that particular point of time when we were doing audit of uh, Tata, Sons, uh, Tata Motors. Walter Kolf was the person, and that is where Krishna Kumar and Walter Kolf did for the first time in India's history leveraged buyout. Normally, the mergers acquisition there is an equity issue. Tata Sons raised a huge amount of debt. Tata Sons was, or Tata T was a very small company in front of Tetley. Tetley was a global giant. And Tata T was not even 10-20%, uh, not even 10-20% at that point of time. A company with a 10% market size or market share or uh, market cap, exact percentage will check at that time, pe, was trying to take over a company 10 times bigger. It was not a uh, equity issue. Karega, the kya karega, matlab, equity kar value kuch rahega, nahi, because utna equity subscribe karne wala market mein koi nahi rahega tumara. And that's where they got a debt from Rabo Bank, and they finally acquired. It took one year. February 2000 was the time when the British Broadcasting Corporation finally announced that Tetley or English Kappa is no longer Britain now. It's gone to India. 432 million dollars was spent by Tata T for that acquisition. It took bloody 10 years for Tata's to acquire one single company, which you Tata Tetley. Lagta hai. But that entire exercise of 10 years gave so much of strength and understanding of global businesses, the way the funding is to be done, the way you need to do due diligence, the way you need to deal with the different different agencies. Tata's were on to a global shopping spree. They went on to buy world's largest steel plant at that point of time, uh, Chorus, karke tha, in case you know. Chorus Steel was acquired by Tata Steel. They went on to buy Jaguar and Land Rover, which were iconic brands, which were first to be a big failure. But whatever Tata Motors has done a recovery, it's because of Jaguar and Land Rover. These iconic brands, Chorus was not a small company for Tata's to acquire. And then understanding this, many Indian companies went ahead, raised the funds abroad. Infosys went ahead to New York Stock Exchange and raised uh, money through American depository receipts. Reliance went, in, uh, Anil Dhirubhai Ambani ke companies which chale gaye. Bhoot sara companies sir, jinko funding aage because you had learnt, you had got, got such a message after 10 years of struggle and Tata's went on to buy even the, uh, for Indian business, Starbucks also, Starbucks for Indian business. The same company, which was not even 1,000 crores at that point of time, is now, today it is not called Tata T. Today the name has been changed recently during lockdown. It is called as Tata Consumer Products. It is fucking 71,000 crore company with a huge potential to go and grow in years to come, here and after, even today. What does it tell you? Tata T was not a small company or it is not any peanut individual or they were in a kind of financial stress or something like that. But this person, Krishna Kumar, and Ratan Tata, who was not a chairman of Tata Sons at that point of time, when they initially dreamt of. Initially, when they dreamt of, it uh, was But still, they fought and got this particular company. The entire clue and everything was started from the fall of the Berlin, Berlin Wall, in case you know Germany, East Germany and West Germany were united. And that is where he started thinking of what will be the new world order, what will be the new equations that will be set in the trade and everything. And India wants to become a part of it to a large extent. The TCS, TCS even today gets almost 60-70% of revenues uh, from the rest of the world than the India, not from India. This entire understanding of global and everything started to the Tata T or to the Tata group from this first acquisition, first in the history of the Tatas and the first in the history of India also. 
in spite of being a tata group company in spite of such a huge patronage or support they took 10 years and in these 10 years they did not get frustrated and look at we as individuals something goes wrong in your life something you get irritated some you cannot solve a particular test you cannot solve a particular question you get frustrated your opinion whether you want to do a chartered accountant or not or you want to be a certain professional or not is already formed by you persist with it learn from your mistakes keep on doing a hard work you can realize you, it takes a lot of time for you you need to have that particular self belief boss kk had that particular self belief that this particular company is possible to be taken on a global scale for your information tata consumer products in tea coffee and the starbucks if i include in a branded category tata has about 43% market share today in all these uh, commodities put together it has made a huge revenue out of it getting the starbucks on to board is not a joke boss it's a uh, starbucks up globally they cover it's a global giant tying up with them for a company which was nowhere in a branded category is not a joke but that self belief ki hamare paas ye capability hai ye chalu hona chahiye from your dream point to your finish point it took 10 years for them to achieve that particular one acquisition but the rest was history you could take a time but you need to be willing to give the time during that particular process your chartered accountancy could be your dream you achieving certain success is a dream but many people just look at that success point they do not look at the journey the kind of stress that krishna kumar or dorab ji said or uh, noorwala finance director out there at tata sons could have faced is tremendous it's not a joke yet you are pursuing something for 10 years and acquisition and that too it is not something personal at the tatas for all of them were employees none of them were the owners of the company they were just the employees so from that dream point to the finish point and in between getting a huge disappointment what was that disappointment 1994 when they wanted to acquire they were very one step close to acquisition and that's where the venture capitalist firm comes and outstrips them in the last stage venture capitalist ne pura inka kaam kiya tha itna amount tha usse chalo 5% mein upar dene ko jaa raha hu madam so you go to that pinnacle where you think that tomorrow this is going to be your company and gone disappointment you will go to close uh, close like this could be you go very close you do very hard study day of the result you are expecting marks and you get 198 or you get 398 could happen could have happened to already in foundation some for some people there is a disappointment but at that point of time they did not give up he kept on applying or maintaining the relationship with the tetley he did not give up chala yaar ye tetley sala mera hota hi nahi hai he he kept on because he knew that that was a path for the tata group to be taken ahead that is from the dream to finish they had to take a many small small steps and you have to imagine that even though you are a very small person or tata entity even tata t was very small and dreaming of to take over tetley was not a joke you have to realize that potential but many people in the life do not realize this particular potential of the small small steps that you take up at to one point of time in your life they will become so huge these small small steps they'll accumulate have you ever uh, tried to observe an elephant being controlled by mahout i don't know what is the english term for that mahout the person who uh, controls an elephant what is it called in english mahout tumko malum mahout malum hai english mein kya bolte hai isko anyone knows let's assume uh, it's mahout only in english okay uh, uh, it's english term maybe so there is an elephant that elephant is be controlled by an mahout you know or elephant if you go to the even uh, some uh, jungle or something like that where it is controlled these are tied up by a small rope or a steel uh, chain do you think that elephant is not capable of breaking that chain and running away he is obviously capable if an elephant can uproot a tree elephant can easily just give one kick that particular chain is gone here but why that elephant doesn't do it it is basically because when that elephant was a baby elephant it tried it many times but he could not break that chain when he was a very small young baby 
four five days maybe since that point of time that elephant is tied up with rope or the chain and he doesn't he cannot break it so over a period of time elephant gives up here elephant forms communicates to his mind that this is not my capability this is what happens with the most of the human beings in the life you fail you cannot achieve something you get frustrated and then you form oh ye mere bas ki baat nahi hai main kar hi nahi sakta hu ye mere se ho hi nahi sakta yahi nahi ho sakta you are not an elephant remember you are a human being you need to realize those small small steps now tata t could have given up on this यार ये अपने बस की बात है ही नहीं ये टेटली तो बहुत बड़ा कंपनी है नाउ ये पेड्रो डोमिनिक हो गया पेड्रो ग्रुप इज ह्यूज ग्रुप ये वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट ने एक्वायर किया है तो बहुत बड़ा है इनके पास तो वेंचर कैपिटलिस्ट के पास पैसा मतलब जब चाहे तब होता है रिस्की कैपिटल होता है उनके पास पूरा यहाँ पर टाटा सन्स के पास उतना रिस्की कैपिटल नहीं था हमारे पास तो इतना इक्विटी भी नहीं है सो दे टू डू द लिवरेज बाय आउट लिवरेज बाय आउट इज यू टेक अ डेट एंड बाय आउट अदर कंपनी लिवरेज टाटा टी हेड क्रिएटेड ह्यूज लिवरेज टू अक्वायर टेटली एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम all these steps they basically teach you if you have an opinion and you are clear about your vision and uh, opinion please please persist with it till the very end that end may be coming in very short run end may take a very long period of time but persist with it thank you other things we discuss on monday